Hello, Hello and Floss Tube. We're, we're the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Clicker is still missing in action. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm back with Ronnie. Ronnie had a fun <laughs> week at the Carter Coop, um, chasing chickens and ducks, living the life. <laughs> She acts like it was the worst thing ever when she came back today, but she had fun. Um, so we started our first week of Stitch Mania, so we'll show you our progress on each of our projects um, and then normal stuff. So shout outs, we have a happy belated birthday to Angela and a special shout out to Connie. Hello. From your friend Florence, or Flo, she asked if we would do that for you. So Hi. that's from her. <laughs> um, and then we have a new floss tuber, um, Doodlebug Stitcher. She does uh, the Know Your Needleworker tag in her first video and she shows some of her previous finishes so go check her out. And then Heather Moore's uh, recent video, she finished some things Priscilla style, like one is in a big mason jar chalkboard yeah, looking that was frame very cute. it's really cute. That was one of the first, was that my first project that I stitched, Farm by Lizzie Kate? Mm -hmm. I think it is, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I was really excited to see that and her finish is awesome. All right, so questions. Angela wants to know when my due date is, uh, July 12th. Uh, we're hoping, I know it's stupid to hope, but July 13th is a Friday the 13th. We got married on a Friday the 13th. We got engaged on Friday the 13th, so that's kind of our day. So maybe it'll come, but probably not. Um, Crafty Angie, do you buy two charts if you're both working on them? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, so we don't share charts. Uh, it's Yeah, we don't make copies of them. It's the cheapest part of the project that we can purchase, so we just make we sure that we support the designers. our designers. Um, you know, working with Kathy from Hands On Design, you kind of realize how much um, work goes into making the charts and all of the actual costs for the, the designer themselves, mm -hmm. so we encourage you to do the same. All right, Sylvia wanted to know where do you check stuff out that came out at market time? We had talked about, you know, we follow stuff coming out from the market. So any of the online shops or if your local needle worker shop has... Yeah, they usually set up a table with all the new releases. Or if they have a newsletter. Shop. Yeah, if they have a newsletter that they email out, get on their list and they'll put mm -hmm. their stuff on there as well. And an online shop will have a category, new releases, so you can check out the things there. Yep, and if there's a designer that you're particularly interested in, I mean, I know like Little House Needlework, Country Cottage Needleworks, Hands On Design, Plum Street Samplers, Brenda Gervais, they all have Instagrams or Facebooks mm -hmm. dedicated to their patterns right. that you can go and see their most recent. So I was watching Facebook yesterday and Plum Street came mm -hmm. out with that like stack of sheep and mm -hmm. the what and is they're the going to have all the farm animals. The goats standing on top of each other. It was awesome. All right. Barb wanted to know what kind and size needles do you use? 26. We were using Bowen, and now I've used those Pat Carson needles, and I love them. I um, have switched, and I like using a size 28 needle for whatever reason. Just poke through my finger. I can't use them. They poke through mine, too. I've got some battle wounds, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody said that they had to rewind the video to go check out my hands. Um, they're getting better, but now you're just going to see dirt under my fingernails. I look like I dug through trash for 12 days straight because uh, I garden, but I wear gloves. I've I been don't. wearing gloves lately, so I don't have to like show you guys. But I was gone for a week, still. and it turned to summer in a week's time. It's unreal here. Yep, so I've been out. I made a... With the help of my husband now, I made a um, big garden box for in front of my chicken coop that we're going to plant too. It's going to be pretty, so I'm trying to prettify the coop for when I show you guys. Um, Tina wanted to know, like she wanted to understand, you know, we're starting all of these projects. Do we plan to finish? How many do you plan to finish in the month of May? Is that the point? Are you just starting them? Um, uh, we, we don't... I I personally don't work towards finishing any of them. If it happens, it happens. I, I don't... You know, we'll, we'll, we're ramping up our seasonal right, stitching, because, so we're ramping up Halloween, Christmas, mm -hmm, things like that. Fall. Um, and we've chosen some smaller, like patriotic designs and May, mm -hmm. June designs that we can put out and get finished mm -hmm. quickly after this. I did finish a lot of my Stitch Mania starts last year. I think I have like five remaining that I didn't finish. Yeah, yeah, that's what we talked about. Um, 
Kim, how do you do find out when Joann's is doing how do you find out when Joann's is doing sales on DMC? I have their app also uh, in Facebook Instagram, groups. Facebook, yeah. yeah. The Facebook groups, people will post that they were at their local Joann's, and mm -hmm. I just look for those things. Or they show their receipts yeah. <laughs> with all the boss. <laughs> um, Penny, do you all stitch two X's each to make them stand out? No. Nope, just one X. Mm -hmm. I don't have time to stitch it twice. Mm -hmm. I barely have time to stitch it once. Um, Jennifer wanted to know, you mentioned uh, starting at the bottom for Halloween rules and Christmas rules. Why? I don't know why I did it. I think I just didn't want to do the topper because I think when I started mine, I was traveling. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the and, uh, topper for both of us is saved on our iPads. Um, and for me, I wanted to start that way too because um, I didn't want to have to take my iPad with me to like school pick up and stuff. Not that it's a huge inconvenience, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to be able to take the chart and go. And so that last part was the only part I needed my iPad for. And when I travel, I don't like to take my iPad. I don't know why. But. Yeah. She has the most durable case for it, and she's still like, I'm going to break it. <laughs> um, Connie, so she loves Disney World as well. Do you stay on property or off, and do you have any favorite places? Definitely on property. We can make probably seven videos <laughs> long about how much we love Disney World. Mm -hmm. So I got married in Disney World. As kids, we went every year. Um, it's like our vacation place of choice. Uh, no? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Um, or do you prefer Disneyland? I like Disney World, but if <laughs> you said, let's go to Disneyland, I'd be in the car. <laughs> and to the airport. <laughs> um, so, this most recent stay was, um, my husband and I's first wedding year anniversary, and we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Really loved it. Loved having the animals outside, but the food choices, my husband's not that, like, adventurous with food, so having African choices for food, he was kind of like, meh. Uh, he'd rather have chicken nuggets. So we like places like Contemporary, uh, Wilderness. Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, Wilderness Lodge. And when Chelsea got married, we stayed at Port Orleans Riverside. Port Orleans Riverside. So it was okay, but I don't think I would stay there again because it was a really long walk. From... We're used to the like one building thing mm -hmm. where you can go downstairs and have your breakfast, not trek four miles to get to your hot tea. Especially when it rains and it's up to your knees almost to walk through the thing and I'm thinking oh my gosh there's gonna be alligators. Um, and then for our, the rest of our honeymoon so that was where we stayed for the wedding for the rest of our honeymoon we stayed at Grand Floridian. I like I mean it's a beautiful resort obviously but it was maybe too prissy for me because I just felt like awkward walking around in my park gear of like Mickey flip-flops you know at this beautiful hotel so um, we're planning a trip in, I can't say when, because my kids might watch this, but we're planning a special trip for good grades after the baby is born, and I hope to stay either at the Contemporary or Wilderness. I like the modes of transportation, too, so it's easy to get to every park. Port Orleans, what did they have? Uh, they had buses. Bus. And then they oh, had a, and a boat to down Disney Springs. Disney's downtown Disney. Mm -hmm. It'll always be downtown Disney to me. If you don't like Disney, sorry. <laughs> we could go on for days. We'll make a special Disney video. All right, and then that's all I have for questions. The cat is making an appearance, and the dogs are going nuts. So. And the cat actually came to me last night when I came home from my week away. He acted like he liked me. He doesn't. Yeah, this morning he just wanted to be fed, and then he was like, out of here. <laughs> all and right. He, behave. What do you got? For what? We're I don't have any finishes, so. Oh, so I'm showing. I finishes. I've been gone for a week, so I don't have very much stitching. And my finisher was out of town, so she had to finish it this morning. Uh, so I have a finish. It is the May by Lizzie Kate. Did change some colors. I had my oh here it is. So it was charted for like this pinky corally. Mm -hmm. Not my. Thing. We bring out, uh, towards the middle of the month, we bring out some patriotic stuff. Like my Liberty Lane will come out for Memorial Day and whatnot. So mm -hmm. blues are more our Skip. thing. Okay. And then, again, sheet metal magnets on the back of there. People want to know what kind of glue we use. Hot glue. Hot glue. Hot cross buns. Kid had a music concert this week, and she had to play that on the recorder. Uh, and then I had another... Finished Lizzie Kate Summer. 
So this is the four charts and this was my finish. It's getting harder and harder to reach over to the camera. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Make her do it. <laughs> oh, and to all you people at the retreats this weekend, we're so jealous. I, I saw a, a picture on Facebook last night and I was standing at the luggage carousel. My husband was upstairs getting some Garrett's popcorn. And I'm waiting for the luggage, and I see this picture, and everybody's stitching, bless our home. But it was Yvonne's piece, and everybody was, like, stitching on it while she walked away. But she's like, I love seeing so many bless yeah. our home. So I text her, I'm like, hey, girl, they're, they're all stitching one. So that's what happens if you don't have your glasses on, and you're looking at Facebook. You wear glasses? <laughs> all right, what whips do you have? Are these Stitch Mania? Are these everything? What do you got? Well, everything is Stitch Mania except for a couple, so. Okay, show the non-Stitch Mania So, first. Saturday, I was in an airplane, and I did my Stars and Stripes Saturday with Liberty Lane, and I got this much done on it. Again, she's changing the colors to darken them up. What blue is this? Um, blue corn or something? Yeah, I think that sounds right. I know I need to figure out what colors I'm using because I've had a couple of questions about that. And sorry, I didn't get back to a lot of people last week because I was just really busy. And then I also worked on this one a little bit, the Spring ABCs. By Little House Needleworks. There was some purple in there, so she changed it out to Ladybug mm -hmm. or Crab Cakes. Ladybug. And I'm also using... Hickory sticks for the rough one. <laughs> Hick sticks. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then for Sunday... Th these might take a little bit longer because we're trying not to get all of this mixed up. It's hard to keep our... For Santa Sunday, I did finish this one. Oh, you said you had no finishes. Well, it's not like finish finished. A finish is a finish. It's the tree farm from Hands on Design, the, the white Christmas ornaments. And I added red for the date and a little bit of red over the barn. It's really cute. Other than that, you used the called for? Okay, so then my first day of Stitch Mania, I did the beeline from Country Cottage Needleworks. And... I don't want the bees to look like they're dancing. I just want them to be like they're standing. So I've been trying to do them like the, the legs and arms, like the side things. And you don't plan on stitching the words, right? Right, right. So she's not, she's only doing tea here. And then my second day was with I Needle and Thread, Spirits and Spells. I only got a little bit done on this. Somebody asked about this fabric on her either Instagram or Facebook. So this was, what color was this? Gray? Did we dye that with brown? Maybe. That's that one that we threw in the brown red dye. Okay. So it was gray. It was gray. We tea coffee dyed it. It wasn't dark enough. When we threw it like a flash in the bowl of brown red dye. Yeah, so this was older fabric. So I had stitched this. I, I haven't we, completed it. We did that it. pumpkin farm on that, didn't we? Or no? Possibly. I had Pumpkin stitched, Spice Farm. Yes. I stitched part of this and um, I had an extra piece of the fabric just hanging out in my stuff. So I told her to put it on the same fabric because it's really pretty on there. And it looks kind of like what's in the called for. Okay. And then the next day, what she did on the wrong day. This is the Milk and Cream Company. And I did have some comments about the floss. I think it's Little Boy Blue. Johnny, I thought. What? I thought there was something Johnny. Okay. Mm. Uh, She'll figure them out. Yeah. We'll figure them out. You want to do next? I think it was in the picture. Didn't I take a picture of it? It I was in know. the picture. In the picture. On Instagram or my Facebook page. So maybe we can add some pictures. And then my this. last day for Fall Friday stitching, and this one I stitched in the plane yesterday. I got quite a bit done. But this is Boo and Ba. I am not doing the face on the pumpkin. I'm probably going to do some lines because I want this more for fall instead of just Halloween. So not making a jack-o'-lantern. And just people ask pumpkin. me about the color of the orange. It's colonial copper. 
from oh, Plastic I'm, Color Works. I'm using that for one of my projects too. Um, again, she's going around mm -hmm. with her fancy floss. So you guys ask how she gets that variegation, and that's how and she I, does it. I also just received the chart this week for the small piece to the next chalk on the farm. So that's been started too, but I can't show you. Sorry. Okay. So your whips. I don't know. <laughs> Um, we we have be here for three weeks. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten lots of questions about the uh, floss colors for Bless Our Home that we that mm -hmm. Mom chose. Um, so the gray is Stepping Stones, but that replaces like the what is it, peanut brittle or peanut yes. butter or whatever. I I when everybody keeps saying, well, where do the colors go? They're the same colors, just in a different tone. We yes. didn't like reinvent the chart we just did a Substitute. different color of the same color same How do we say different that? shade different of shade the of the same, same color. color okay except for the gray to replace the brown yeah mm -hmm. old blue jeans these are all classic color work so old blue jeans is the blue for the house and the, flag. Uh, and the blue in the flag barn door is the red in the flag a little bit of red in the door and, and some of the flowers some of the flowers or all of the flowers if you're doing it without the yellow yes uh, and Eve's leaves is the green yes that we all chose. the green um, also you can still order these from down sunshine lane there's a drop-down box that says right pick Priscilla and Chelsea's floss colors I think it is um, and then you need like white DMC and we chose a, a little yellow to add into the flowers that that was it something you have in your stash a little yellow DMC goes and I think way. that there's some other DMC isn't there for the dog possibly I but I know. used white and like a 433 or something for Ronnie okay so this is my progress on it and thank you so much for all of you that are stitching it and I've been seeing finishes and they're so nice and they're cute some mm -hmm. on a, a like a palette flag mm -hmm. or uh, two pieces of barn wood put together I saw that too okay um, patriotic row again this is being stitched for the baby's room it's gonna go above his door I plan to put it on a piece of barn wood and I'm almost done can you see it all so I've got all the letters in. The only part that I am finishing is uh, these three little houses right here. They need flags and they need grass and they need their doors filled in. The, these are quick. And this fabric was, we tea coffee dyed it twice. Double dunked. Double dunked. Uh, somebody asked that too. Did uh, you bake it in the oven after yes because my intentions were that I was done I was just gonna do it once so we baked it and then we looked at it, it we keep the enough. tea coffee mom always keeps the tea coffee on the stove just in the pot while it cools down because she adds it to her garden for hydrangeas and nutrients and whatnot so then um, took it out of the oven and I was like eh. so she just threw it back in and then rebaked it to reset it okay Trying to answer questions that I might not have put on my iPad. Yeah, I Sorry. had a lot of questions this week on Instagram and Facebook, Sometimes and I just I'm haven't not, gotten to. Yeah, I'm not very good at, at that. Okay, and then uh, Santa Sunday, I worked on. I jumped back on this guy. So these are the 12 Days of Christmas by Prairie Schooler, right? Mm -hmm. Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, this is going to be three hens a laying. I have not decided if I'm doing them all. Or if I'm just going to do like the eight maids milking and the, chi I don't know. I haven't decided. They're all cute though. They're all very cute. There's three different charts. I don't charts. have these. I'm going to have to buy them. Yep. Um, three different charts. That and in case you're you're not on social media, that Village Green from Prairie Schooler got re-released this week. Yes. And I know that everybody's been wanting that one. Absolutely. We were lucky enough to be given that one. Um, fall Friday stitching I took out uh, harvest keeper so I started this last year but we started a stitch along the same day so I had maybe 20 stitches in it total uh, this is a beautiful piece so Plum Street samplers harvest keeper of course it's on the same fabric guys so <laughs> it has given me so much anxiety to cut my fabric and have to worry about going all the way to the end and not having enough room it's I would rather stitch on one big chunk of fabric 
I'm going to cut them apart, don't worry. Did you see my post for you, dedicated to you, for cutting my fabric apart? I even featured your old and crusty orange scissors that have been around longer than I have, and I, put, I stole them from you. So this is part of the border. Did you post this on Instagram? I don't know that I saw that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You mm -hmm. don't have alerts for when I post something? Mm -hmm. I have alerts for when you post something. Hmm. Well, we yes. see where that is. Okay. Too busy. Running around. Fall Friday, you weren't running around. Oh. Yeah, I was. I was trying to get ready to go. Okay. Um, let's see. What did we... You were here. Listen. Unless that was yesterday. No, it was Fall Friday. My first day of Mania was Sweet Rose by Little House Needleworks. And this is a kit that comes with the fancy floss that you need. And then there's some other DMC that you need as well. I got mine from the um, Inspired Needle in Lamont, Illinois. Now, if I stitch this again, because it is a very quick stitch, um, I'm going to change it to reds. Mm -hmm. And I would put this in the girls' room and use the red one for my decorations. Just because I think red would go with more of my stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but they're beautiful colors and it's... a quick. I'm hoping my border lines up so far so good. Um, I just have a little bit more to go so I should be able to finish that this month. And then what was the next day? Witchy Wednesday? Mm -hmm. All right so for Witchy Wednesday I started Lizzie Kate's Halloween ABCs or ABC Halloween sorry. These are really cute as well. There's uh, different seasons of these. This is that colonial copper that she was using for that pumpkin. And <laughs> lots of you said, I see purple. Purple for Halloween is okay. Mm -hmm. I've decided. <laughs> um, I love the comments that I get from you guys. Mm -hmm. I post <laughs> some of them are very smart aleck like I am. So I think it's hilarious. I posted a photo of my 30 week day, you know, the bump photo and all of you were so kind. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the compliments and you made me feel really good. Sometimes I feel like a beached whale. I know I'm not, but sometimes it's just, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> this was a pathetic start. So Country Cottage Needleworks, July. Yep. Got a lot done here. Really? <laughs> Uh, and then Country Cottage Needleworks Pumpkin Cottage. This was Fall Friday stitching. This is more double dump, double dunked fabric. I was watching some live PD last night. If uh, any of you were watching, I know one person was because she made the comment about the man in the hotel room. I, <laughs> I videotaped it for my phone and showed mom because she was missing out. <laughs> That's all my whips because I did finish the May this week and I finished this Lizzie Kate summer one. So I did have quite a few. I've been trying to do yard work too. I'm trying to be productive with my life. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. What else we got? We got a lot of yard work to do. Hmm. We all do. Oof. Like I said, we left last Saturday and it was winter and we came home and it's summer. A lot of people had questions about Stitch Mania too. So, Stitch Mania, M-A-Y-N-I-A, -A, is a Facebook group that right. was started, I think, three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and they started this, like, ramp up in May where you do all these projects. But then throughout the year, everybody shares their progress, you know, shares their Joann's, DMC sales, mm -hmm. I mean, anything like that. Now, they do allow um, adult content, let's say, but you can always block people that you don't want to see. Right. Um, anything like that. So... There are I some just people want to that put stitch that. those kind of things that we're like, ah! <laughs> Just want to put that PSA out but there. But we're, we're, we're not into that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not, but you just block the people yeah. that you don't want to see and just scroll on past. Yeah, because um, there's so many... Different things yeah. that you can see. So I've found so many... Pat you know, people talk about us enabling people, and that's kind of where we see some projects that we like to see too mm -hmm. so it's always fun and um if you don't want to do that if you don't do facebook you can use the hashtag stitch mania mm -hmm. or stitch mania 2018 and you can look on there and people post all of their projects on right. there too on instagram yeah on, did i say that no oh sorry on instagram you don't have to you don't, you have, don't to. have to join the group you don't have to post your pictures on there you can just post them on instagram if you're doing it and you know just do the hashtag on there whatever it's yeah. just fun 
No rules. No right. cross-stitch police. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to see all of you starting. So last week's um, giveaway question was if you're joining. Lots of people said, you know, that gives me quite the anxiety seeing all your starts. Like, mm -hmm. I cannot handle that. But then a lot of you were pulling out projects that you haven't worked on in a while or picking up new things and using your stash. So it's really exciting to see everybody's mm -hmm. progress and participation. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. I've rambled a lot today. Okay, so for haul... Back to Disney. Oh. We got our order from Down Sunshine Lane, and we both got patterns from Tra La La. I got this one that's We like, both got patterns we can't pronounce. Right. <laughs> These are Italian. And this is... Gosh, I don't know what, but... This is like the white chicken, and this is the gray chicken. And I'm this thinking. is like a Halloween and a Christmas one. So Okay, so these are for the baby's room. Look at how cute they are with the baby on them. Sorry I didn't take them out. Oh, that's cute. I didn't see that. Okay. And okay, we and then we also up. got the new... Welcome to the forest. Right. And that deer is just adorable. This is called Forest Deer, so this is part of their new collection. The, these we plan on stitching for the girls' room. You know, you could also use that deer and just make it. I look at it and it, I see a little Christmas ornament. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So cute. Mm-hmm. 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 And we got the nicest gifts. Yes. So last week I had showed you that uh, Sally Ann had also sent... Um, gifts for the girls so they opened those their little dolls to go on their wall so we Two handmade bees. little bees they loved them they were so excited and then they had to look up where she's from and everything it was it was very exciting they were and she does sell those in her Etsy shop too yes and lots of you were asking about the stitchy project booklets mm -hmm. um, and farm girl it's not our fault <laughs> She said it's our fault that she ordered one. Um, and she's given her husband our phone number to blame us. No. Mm -mm. I don't take That's those all you. Calls. And then um, Shauna from Adelaide Cottage. So she has a floss tube. She made us these bags. And the fabrics were chosen. Like there's gardening and carrots and mason jars. And a thing about cookies. And they are just... They're amazing. Her stitching is perfect. Oh, we got a lot to, <laughs> lot to learn about quilting. Her lines do not look like a drunken sailor. Mm -mm. So, and she does the straight line approach. We do the drunken sailor approach where we're just like me. So these are so nice to be carrying around our little Ziploc bags. This in. is for our Stitch Mania project. So bringing it with me everywhere mm -hmm. we go. So that was kind of a topic in floss tube. This, this is my usual project bag and everybody said on one of my pictures, oh, you must have gotten some Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn was very hard to find in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was there though. Yeah, at 9.15 in the morning waiting for the stores to open at 9.30 and then zipping around from store to store. And so on her vacation, she would FaceTime me every morning to walk her to Starbucks. So she <laughs> stayed at a beautiful hotel, but the, the neighborhood she had to walk through through to get to we Starbucks was the kind gas, of... My husband was there for work and we were in the gas lamp district of San Diego, if you know where that is. And it's... So in the morning, there, there's, there's a lot of druggies and homeless people that you have to walk through. <laughs> Just being real. <laughs> and so I would say to her, okay, you ready to walk me to Starbucks? <laughs> and she'd FaceTime the whole way there and just make sure. She's like, y you'll know my location and you'll know what's happening. <laughs> so it's really you have funny. to call the police. <laughs> But then when she was in the safety of her hotel, she also talked to the dog on FaceTime as well. <laughs> hey, Ron. Mm -hmm. um, we love these bags, Shauna, and thank you very much. Thank you. Now I don't have to... My, my Marshall's bag is getting... We got these yeah. in Las Vegas, remember? Uh, so these bags, so I have a Halloween bag, I have a Christmas bag, I've got like a so cute for summer bag, and I decided to take my whips and separate them in my seasons, mm -hmm. in my seasonal bag. So now for Witchy Wednesday, I take my Halloween bag with me in the car to go pick up the girls, and I have whatever I want to stitch on out of my Halloween projects. I don't have to decide. I have a pair of scissors in them. I usually keep a needle in all of my projects, so I'm ready to go. That was a topic on Floss Tube 
for a lot of people was, you know, maximizing your stitchy time. If you have a, a moment where you're sitting in the car or you're sitting in a doctor's office, I mean, instead of just sitting there scrolling on your phone or something, mm -hmm. bring a project with you and work on it. Sitting at the girls' soccer practice, I'm able to stitch there. When I'm picking them up from school, I just stitch there. I do too. I thought and I, all my mania projects will go on there. Yep. I thought I would show you too what my mania is for this week. Do you have yours or not? I have my list, so I'll just kind of go through my list. Okay, so for today, I'm starting this small birds of a feather one. They can't the bottom. see that. You have to hold it closer. <laughs> Tomorrow for Santa Sunday, the little truck from Santa Rides. Where's the truck? Oh, this one? Mm hmm Santa rides. Oh, wow, that balloon is cute up there. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. They're all cute. Welcome spring from With Thy Needle and Thread. And I probably won't get this done this spring, but then... It's ramped up, ready to go right. for next spring. Right. After her Christmas stuff is all done. Yeah, we can Who's think of a spring floor? stitching day. Oh, Liberty. Blessed be from With Thy Needle and Thread. And hopefully I'll get that one done for summer. These colors are really pretty. I haven't picked my colors yet. I see some hickory sticks in her future. Bobbing for pumpkins from With Thy Needle and Thread. That'll be for Witchy Wednesday. Are you finishing this the same way you finished mine? Yep. Because remember when we oh, got yeah, yours, you bought I bought the sign. mine. Yep. Country Cottage Needleworks. A, B, C sampler. And then for Fall Friday Stitching, I have Blackbird in from Little House Nina Works. So that'll be my things for this week. To I gotta get everything kitted up today and get everything back in order around here. Yeah, so she's kitting up a week at a time. Seems I like have, I've been gone for a year. I've kit up almost all of my projects. I have three that I need to get some fancy floss for, and that's it. I don't want to do that because I know last year I... Switched out a couple things, and I've already switched out one thing, so. Like something you chose, and mm -hmm. you wanted to change it mm -hmm. as you went? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. somebody comes out with something, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm like that, too, though. Mm -hmm. um, I will be doing, so today's start will be Beggar's Fourth, which I'm really excited for. That's the Threadworks Primitives. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow for Santa Sunday, Cut and Carry Ornament by Hands on Design. Then I have Old Glory by Little House Needleworks, Jack's Bash by Plum Street. I'm really excited about that one. Mm -hmm. That one's a bigger one. Uh, I'm starting Tingles for Witchy Wednesday. That's the long piece that I will be doing. Lizzie Kate. By Lizzie Kate. Um, on Thursday, By the Chimney, which is an ornament by Country Cottage Needleworks. Friday's going to be Cinnamon Stars for Fall Friday Stitching. And... Um, that's it, because Saturday we'll be doing another right. video. Saturday I'll be doing America by Little House Needleworks. And that was their first chart. Mm -hmm. Their first chart as Little House Needleworks. It's all charted in DMC. It's beautiful. I'm excited about that. Uh, most of the fabric that you'll see that we're using is going to be that double dunked fabric. Uh, you just dip it twice. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of people asked, you know, their new subscribers. They didn't know we had posted a coffee tea dye tutorial so mm -hmm. I say if you've got some free time while you're stitching just go binge watch us we answer a lot of the same questions um, like what kind of fabric we use and whatnot and mm -hmm. it's all in there and that dyeing tutorial uh, there's lots of comments in there too for what people have tried so if you're trying a new type of fabric because again we've only done this on Ada and um, even we've Monaco right but other people have chosen different linens and stuff so you can see kind of their results as well right yeah I think that that's it so if you you guys want to talk more about Disney <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really excited mom if she's not watching floss tube she's watching uh, videos on Disney World mm -hmm. and like the best places to eat or the best bathrooms to use they made a video about the best bathrooms to use we uh, hopefully <laughs> well I don't even want to say hopefully anymore we have tentative plans to also go but that could change if something really good happens so 
really good. Not for her, but for other people in the family, really good. <laughs> we just can't say anything about it because we can't jinx it. But her plans, um, my stepdad plans to take her in November for her birthday. And so she'd be able to go see Mickey's not, wait, Mickey's Christmas party? Mm-hmm. Mickey's Christmas party. Very merry Christmas party. Or something. Yeah, something like that. If, in the new Toy Story Land. If you're not a Disney fan, I, I'm sorry. So today we don't have a giveaway because we were just like, you know, we're trying to catch up. You know, I'm mm -hmm. trying to get Ron and back I have, acclimated here. She really wanted to stay at the Carter Coop, but I have a couple. I didn't get to the post office last week, and I'm really sorry. So everything will go out. I doubt it'll go out today, but Monday I will get your thing shipped out if you were a giveaway winner last week and then we had one that I didn't realize that we had the person's info for and that'll be out too. We tried to stay as organized yes. as possible. Again, it I, I was running lot. around way too much not that last week but the week before trying to get ready to go and then last week being gone for a week it's like I just didn't pick up the slack. I was too busy being pregnant. <laughs> And we owe some people thank you notes, and those will go out this week, too. We owe a lot of and people thank you notes. Also, the giveaway for the the new Chalk on the Farm chart is still open if you want to go guess what kind of farm it's going to be. Yep. And, oh my gosh, you guys. Not that I've seen it, but it looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last week we decided that we were giving away the two seasonal celebrations. Mm -hmm. We're giving them to one person so that they have two of the pieces for that um, series, and then you would just need two more. So it's summer and spring. Spring. We're okay. <laughs> All right. So the winner, you guys had to answer questions about if you're starting Stitch Mania, mm -hmm. if you're not, if you're watching from the sidelines. Perfect. We love that too. Uh, the winner is Joyce Hartman. So please get a hold of us. Congratulations. Two ways are better than one. Facebook floss tube. Uh, mom's blog, Instagram, private message, however you can get a hold I, of I us. I don't know where you find the YouTube message, so please don't do the YouTube message. Do either Instagram message or a Facebook message. I don't know how to get a hold of it either. She's like the primary and, on our YouTube. And I was thinking about putting my email in the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to put my email in the bottom, and then that'll be easier for everybody if you win. You can Just email, email me. Right? Yeah. Do you want me to put your phone number so they can FaceTime you? No. <laughs> You'd have other people to walk you to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not going to Starbucks there anymore. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> there were some really cute places that she went to eat. She posted a lot of pictures on her Instagram mm -hmm. and whatnot. What was if the you place live though? anywhere near La Mesa, Farmer's Table. We went there for dinner and we went there for breakfast. Oh my gosh, I loved it. And what was that other place? Montecito? Yeah, you act like I went. <laughs> I was just Hoya. watching from the sidelines. It was like soup, salads, and sandwiches. The best salad I've ever had in my life. I can't remember the name of it, though. I feel like that's, I mean, that's, is that a category? The best salad I've had. Oh, my gosh. It was a spring roll salad. It was like the inside of an egg roll. Oh. Mm-hmm. That sounds good. And then Tanner had the salad that had wontons, fried wontons on the top. And he's like, this tastes just like your, the salad you make. Oh. Yeah, so she went down there. Um, my David, her husband, my stepdad, had a work event down in San Diego. So she kind of tagged along. And she got to visit with Tanner and Bonnie, his girlfriend, and So Nyla. I just ran around by myself the whole time. <laughs> I was really nervous about driving in San Diego because California traffic is like... Mm, mm. And we all know how she <laughs> drives. She said she got better, though. <laughs> Because she had nobody in the passenger seat saying, hey, there's a semi right there. <laughs> there's really no semis there. Oh. Just cars? Mm-hmm. Oh. I find that hard to believe. It's not like here where there's like 5,000 semis in your one car. No, it's all cars. Oh, okay. All right, so we've rambled on enough. We will be back next week. Uh, with more mania starts mm -hmm. and then uh, if we have any progress on the stuff that we've started this week and then our normal whips. Right. So and that's what you can expect for the month of May. Down below will be links to all of our hashtags. Yep. And follow us and tag us and if you get your inspiration for finishing from us, tag us, tag my blog. Today and is hashtag stars and stripes. Saturday. Saturday. And then there's a lot of people that are joining in on that. And we love it. I love seeing all the patriotic stuff. I am absolutely like mm -hmm. into the patriotic stuff right now and seeing all of the different. I've added like 12 things to my list that I need. <laughs> it's terrible. 
Okay. Okay, so follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com, where you can see more about everything we post, but I didn't post it all last week. But I do, I, I think I might do like a little California post. Is there a, a photo of me FaceTiming you? If not, then you're not allowed to. <laughs> okay. And if you live by La Mesa, go to a farmer's table. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. She was obsessed. She That's all she talked about for the trip. Um, she did go to Marshall's and Home Goods trying to get some Ray done. Mm -hmm. There's no stitching shops there though. There, so a lady, she she always asks the employees. I feel bad asking the employees if they have mm -hmm. them because I know they get asked like 50 times. You know, it's like, oh, do you have this beanie baby back in 1990? <laughs> um, so, and she said that she had just missed a mom to be cup. Mm -hmm. We all know who that would be for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> all oh right. My gosh. <laughs> All right, we will see you guys next week. Bye.